hello and welcome back to my channel alpine bay h g t v i don't think that matters it's your girl liana um i want to talk a little bit about like you know if you want to start your own youtube channel this year and if you want to um be a youtuber i want to give just like a few tips i don't really want to make this video way too long like you know i normally do with my rants and stuff but i want to know if you want me to do like a real like professional video where like i sit up and i have my background all set and everything or you know you like my chill lay back videos let me know in the comments below or like it as well um if i get one like then i know that <laughs> you like me with my relaxed self uh, but yeah back to the fact that um you know you don't need a lot to start your youtube journey that's tip number one you don't need to buy all the fancy equipment that um everybody says that you know i'm gonna be real with you that all you need is your phone um if you have android uh windows movie maker and iphone you have imovie or you could also use cap cup cap cut for both uh for your editing software you don't need the expensive stuff to um do your videos now if you want to like when you get bigger and want to improve your editing skills you know um, that's great too. And then eventually, you know, if you want to hire somebody to do your editing videos, you, you know, but for right now, this is just, you know, your hobby where you can, could just like randomly talk on a day to day basis of like, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm planning to do. You know, like you don't need to go all out just to get views and clicks, you know, and a lot of people are already doing that so like you really want to just be yourself by doing youtube videos because if you do that and then you get the following and everything and then you realize oh i don't like what i'm doing then you're gonna lose your following um if you know if you decide like you don't want to do that content anymore so i advise you just to be yourself and that's just an extra tip be yourself do what you like to do. Don't try to do the trends just to do the trends because it'll end up failing you at the end. I mean, you don't, you could try it yourself, but you don't, that's going to be like the only content, you know, to blow up. So like, you just want to have your own kind of niche with being your personality and make it unique in your own way. And um, with that being said, like you don't have, you know, Another tip is you don't have to do the prank, pranks. You don't have to ruin relationships. You don't have to um, do... I mean, you could do some challenges. I'm not saying, like, oh, don't do these, like, challenges, pranks, whatever. But, I mean, when you think about it, will it... Is it going to be positive effective or is it going to be negative effective? Now, if it's going to be negative effective and ruining friendships and relationships, I don't think you should go that route because you don't want to ruin somebody's identity or health or you know put somebody in a risky situation and it's going to also affect you negatively because then you have to defend yourself and everything so i just per se to just keep it simple and easy and not try to do the extreme of hurting somebody's feelings somebody's body you know you just want to keep it not friendly uh family friendly but you want to keep it clean you know and then two you don't oh did i say two two i guess you don't have to um do all the fancy edits be uh what is it b slides transition um back transitions if you don't have to if it's not part of your content you don't have to do the transitions um all the time i know like i did it before but i scaled back just because it was just a lot of you know putting a lot of effort in my creative to in my creativity and um i'm not getting the benefits of well nobody's watching my videos i mean i get views but it's just like i don't have a lot of subscribers for to have that kind of um change now when i get like when i get like when i feel like 
I have the audience that I know, then I'll probably go back into my editing skills like that. But for the meantime, I'm just trying to, I'm trying you to get to know me. And so it's not, and then you got to think about it as well too. People have like hard, hard with focus. So I, I try to keep it bare minimum of editing just because I know that with a lot of transitions and a lot of edits, it just makes my eyes just like, whoa, whoa, like what, what did I miss? You know? So I try to keep it easy for people like me with that problem where if you have a lot of movement, it's hard to focus. So I try to keep it to the bare minimum of, of that. So just keep it simple and easy. You don't want to stress yourself out. You don't want to, um, you know, you don't want to fall out of what you love doing, you know, because I know I've done that a lot as well, too, because this channel is an old channel. And so, like, I had deleted a lot of videos because I feel like um, it wasn't uh, not up to par, but it wasn't like I didn't like how I was perceiving myself. And so I feel like these videos now i feel like i'm being more myself and you know i'm having fun and it's not like a working kind of job like beforehand i was like putting full-time hours and i'm not being being paid full-time hours so you know being that i scaled back of less like lazy i'm not being lazy but i'm still putting you know my emotions and what i love doing Again, that's the main thing, and I've always been saying that. Like, you don't want to drain your energy because, you know, you're trying to make it big. When really, you're just trying to make it into your hobby, and you want to have an outlet to, you know, help whoever you want to help in their situation and whatever. Like, my situation is is that I'm an introvert, and I like being alone, but, you know, I also want to have friends. So, you know, I want to make a group where you know other people fall in that category where being an introvert don't want to you know <laughs> being don't like being in a big group but also knowing that you have the support so that's what I want to do as well but also three is um time it takes a lot of time to grow but it's not going to be overnight a lot of people think that, you know, being a YouTuber is going to be like an overnight thing, which is not going to be an overnight thing. It's going to take a lot of time. Like, this channel was made 2019. And I have videos private from two years ago. And, um, well, this just like shorts and stuff. But I looked back and was like, wow, I have videos two years ago. But it's just uh, with my birds and stuff. It's not like anything serious and stuff like that so it's um yeah but I originally made this channel off of you know the quarantine and everything but it was just that my health was just really crappy and I didn't uh I didn't like it so I deleted the videos just to save my embarrassment you know and because of I want to try I, I I try to lean more on just being real and being myself like I keep saying because that's what you want to do you want to like show who you really are because you put up on the front anyways because you think people don't like you for your true self so this is what I'm doing you know just so that I feel like I'm unmasking myself and knowing myself you know and I'm not putting on a mask because I think before when I was making YouTube, I would, when I was doing YouTube, I was uh, putting on a mask of what people want me to do or to feel and nobody was even watching me. So I was just like, okay, let me just take a break and figure out what I want to do. And I was just like, I really want to help people, you know, not feel alone because I know what feeling alone feels like. And so, um, yeah, it's just being like that. I mean, you don't have to follow what I'm doing. You could, like, do... Um, I know there's crochet niche. I know there's uh, 
lifestyle niche but i really don't really like the lifestyle niche the, even though i like i'm part of the lifestyle niche but i'm more so being the authentic lifestyle simple life niche because everybody's like in their error bullshit crap and i'm like can we stop making everything a fucking error <laughs> like <laughs> Oh my god. And then lastly, um, just press record. You know, you have your phone, you have anything. Like again, going back to the first one, you don't need a expensive camera, even though I have an expensive camera, but I don't use it just because, you know, editing on my phone is a lot easier. Um, you don't need the expensive kits that, uh, the YouTubers recommend you don't need the expensive editing software to make your videos cool. Um, you don't need the you don't need to uh, create a lifestyle that you don't have to make a YouTube video. Like I mean, of course, when you grow and everything, um, you can be like, oh, I'm going to Puerto Rico or come prepare to me to move across the country blah 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 i mean of course yeah you could do that when when the time comes but you don't need to force that time when you're only starting out you know and it's gonna drain you it's gonna it's gonna hurt you at the end because you kept up with this lifestyle when you didn't have the lifestyle and then now that you can't afford the lifestyle then it's just like do i really want the lifestyle so you really don't want to ask that question when you put yourself there because i mean i know all about mindset and then going for what you want but then you have to think about it am i ready really ready for that am i ready for that now you know like, can I wait until it, until I know that I'm ready for that instead of forcing yourself and not being prepared for that? So it's just like, that's where I want to like think of mindset, not more so going forward, but let's just take the steps to get there. Let's not jump there because that's what everybody's doing. Jump to the mindset of having a rich life. Jump to the mindset that I have a million dollar mansion. Jump to the set like that you know i'm able to afford to travel the world jump to the mindset but it's just like you have to take steps in order to you know travel the world have a million dollar mansion have 10 million subscribers you know you can't jump to have 10 million subscribers you have to start from zero to get to 10 million subscribers you know so it's just yeah it's just time and, and you know and then go back to you don't want to waste your energy you know, you don't want to force your creativity in just finding in. And it's always about finding what you know, finding what you can do, sharing and helping other people into whatever you need to do. So that's what my guide for making a YouTube channel, you know, I'm being real as possible of not trying to, to um, keep the same bullshit up. Oh, be consistent. You have to have a schedule to know because like, you really can't have a real schedule because, you know, life happens, you know, I really have health problems, so I have appointments and stuff like that. So I have to know, I have to work around my schedule to make YouTube videos. I can't really have a set schedule. And then some days I don't feel like posting, but other days I do feel like just spamming my account with videos, which, you know, I'm not going to do that, but I might double upload sometimes just to make up um if i didn't post for two days you know so and then it's just i've tried to have a schedule before but i feel like i was so limited of what i wanted to do so this is just a bonus tip like you don't really have to follow a set schedule if you don't want to limit your creativity because i was just like i really want to post this video now but i can't because i had a set day of you know wednesday at 2 p.m and it's only to, is only Sunday at 2 p.m. But I really want to make this video now because I really like it and I know it's going to work, you know? So, you know, don't don't feel like you have to limit yourself because you have to make a set schedule, you know? Say that you could post every day, you know? And it could be, 
you and it can't be every day but you're open to that availability to feel like you could post anytime any day you know so that's just my tip you don't have to follow the consistency you don't have to follow the uh, the planning you don't have to follow the crap that everybody keeps saying that you have to do in order to grow a youtube channel or um or to make it big because you don't need that look at me you know <laughs> i'm i've been following those same fucking steps for years and i'm still not even at 100 subscribers so learn from me that you don't need those steps because it's not gonna it's not gonna benefit i've i've tried it i i'm doing the claw hands that everybody do i've tried it okay learn from me it's not that easy <laughs> so i'm gonna end the video here i hope this helps you to your growth of your journey um and i want to be honest that you know don't think that you're you're gonna be famous overnight because look i've been at this for almost five years and i'm not even still at 100 subscribers but uh, i was just trying hard you know I was trying to do the trends and everything, and so I, I just didn't like it, and so <sighs> I think business is my niche, I guess. I don't know, but anyways, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!